It's been 22 years since Fergie divorced from the Queen's son Prince Andrew, but her enduring fondness for the monarch couldn't be stronger. The Duchess of York 59, could hardly contain her excitement as the Queen's carriage pulled up at Royal Ascot this afternoon. Waving ecstatically to the monarch to welcome her to the parade ring. Fergie hasn't been a member of the royal family for more than two decades. But she proved that she hasn't forgotten how to curtsy as she bobbed in deference to the monarch alongside her daughter Princess Beatrice. Mother and daughter were joined for the occasion by Prince Andrew who doffed his top hat to his mother as her carriage arrived. The Queen was accompanied in her carriage by the Earl of Snowdon the son of her late sister Princess Margaret and her racing manager John Warren. The fold Camelot dress and winter white tweed available here. By now Princess Beatrice is at Royal Ascot again today, wearing her third winning outfit of the week. Following on from the clear Miss Giovanni blue lace dress, then yesterday's Jonathan Simkai number, her race day style has been spot on so far. This time she turned to the fold which is a firm favorite for Beatrice, who wore a pink version of the Camelot dress at this year's Trooping the Color. And she's not alone. Pippa Middleton, Holly Willoughby, Samantha Cameron and Donna Ayer are all big fans of the brand too. We love the tweed texture and distinctive sweeping wrap waist on this dress, which she teamed with a hat by Sarah Kant. A pop and sookie box bag and ankle strap heels from Russell and Bromley. Click, right to Bobby's exact dress or feel like a princess in one of the similar options in our edit below. Sarah can't gloriosa hat pop and sookie box bag now reduced to 149 pounds and 67 pence Maya tweed dress the fold Eaton dress explosion London tweed dress at silk Fred Bruce by Bruce Oldfield tweed dress now reduced to 79 pounds and 50 pence Beatrice 29 Opted for an understated look in a pale gray dress by the fold team with a pink picture hat by Sarah Kant. Meanwhile, her mother looked elegant in a dress by Roland Murray teamed with a hat by Philip Tracy, a royal favorite dot since splitting from Prince Andrew. The Duchess does not appear at public events with the rest of the royal family. However, she's welcomed back into the fold for Royal Ascot, and this is the fourth year running that she's attended despite being long divorced from Andrew. The pair remain famously close and Fergie has previously spoken about how they've never really left each other. The royals were joined by their counterpart from Jordan Princess Haya, whose horse won the King Edward VII stakes with Old Persian. Claire Balding presented a trophy to the princess and her daughter. Sheikha Al-Jalil bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al-Maktoum after the win. They were joined by her husband Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, ruler of Dubai who is a regular fixture at British racing events. The Queen has visited Royal Ascot every year since she ascended the throne in 1952. And it's one of the highlights of her calendar. Throughout the week she's been accompanied by Charles and Camilla, Harry and Meghan, Sophie and Edward, Princess Anne and Peter and Autumn Phillips. However, New mothers Kate and Zara are staying away this year as they remain at home with their recent additions to their families. All Weak punters have been placing novelty bets on the color of the Queen's hat and today they weren't disappointed when she turned out in green. The clear favorite. Ladbrokes now predicts she will end the week tomorrow with a pink hat, making it the 2-1 favorite. A blue hat is next best at 4-1. With purple priced at 5 1. Nicola Maggetti of Ladbroke said, when it comes to predicting the color of the Queen's hat, punters have been spot on. The gamble on Green landed today, so we hope for some respite tomorrow. The early money suggests a pink ensemble will be chosen to end the week.